Hey everybody, Blendmaster here with another tutorial, and today this is going to be a quick tip video where I show you how to make a cool vignette node inside of the compositor. And this is a great node because it works well with any aspect ratio, and you don't have to worry about adjusting any of the values to make it looking great right out of the box. Super easy to use, and if you want to learn how to save this node group so that you don't have to append it into your scene each time, I have a link to that tutorial in the description below. But let's take a quick look at the this node group anyways. Super easy to make. There's only three values here to adjust. And if we take a look inside of this node group, you can see there's only six nodes. So it's super easy to make. So let's open up a new Blender file and get started. First thing we want to do is switch over to the compositing layout. And we're going to check Use Nodes and Backdrop and press Control up arrow to make it full screen. I'm going to delete this render layer node because I already have an image which I want to add a vignette to. So I'm just going to open that up. I'll press Control Shift and left click to add on a viewer node. And I'm going to press V to actually shrink the size of this background image. And Alt-V will make it bigger if you accidentally make it too small. So first thing we want to do is create an ellipse shape that we can use as a mask to add in our vignette. So to do that, I'm going to add in a lens distortion node. And we're going to set this distortion to 1. But we can't really use this ellipse for our vignette because it's using the color from our original image. We want it to have a black background with the white ellipse, but we can easily do that by adding in a mix node right before this and making sure the factor is set to 1 and the bottom color is set to white. And then we can add in an alpha over node right after that. And just plug this into the bottom socket and make the top color black. So now we have our nice ellipse shape. I'm just going to move everything back a little bit. And we can add in a blur node, and I'll set the uh, type to fast Gaussian, and I'll increase the size to 250 by 250. And now we can add in another mix node, but this time we'll switch it to multiply and plug in our original image. And there you can see we already have a nice looking vignette, but to make this a node group, I'm going to press shift and left click to combine these two and then press B to box select all our nodes and press Control G to make it a group. And if we tab out of this node group now, you can see that there's no sliders to adjust any of the values of our vignette. So I'm going to tab back into this node group and you can see that if we adjust our distortion value, it's not really going to adjust our vignette that well because it's actually getting rid of this ellipse shape and making it more rectangle, rectangular. So instead what we want to do is press Shift A, add in a scale node right in between this lens distortion and alpha over node. And now what we can actually do is take this X input and plug it in here, and same with the Y input. I'm also going to take this size input and plug it in there, because we can rename this as feather. I'll just delete this viewer node and tab back out. And now we have all these sliders which we can use to adjust our scale of the vignette. You can see if we decrease that, the vignette is closer. And if you decrease the feather to zero, you can see you're getting a sharp border between our image and the actual vignette. And the higher it is, the softer that edge gets. And most people use an ellipse mask to create their vignette, but the only problem I see with that is that if you have an image with a different aspect ratio, you always have to adjust the value for your vignette. But with this node group, if I add in an image with a different aspect ratio, you can already see that the vignette adjusts perfectly to work with the scene. And if you want to add some small adjustments, that's why I have this X and Y slider here. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you want to save the image, all you have to do is go to the UV image editor and switch this from render result to viewer node. Then you can press F3 to save it. I want to save the donut picture instead. So F3, and then I'm going to save it as vignette test. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching.